Hi everyone, this video tutorial is going to explain to you how to use the table rate shipping plugin through WooCommerce. Now the table rate shipping plugin is a premium product that you have to pay for, but it really does help you extend the functionality of WooCommerce to allow you to offer different prices for different delivery methods to your customers. And a lot of people, uh, a lot of uh, people who sell online really do need this plugin because uh, depending on the products you sell and the clientele and their locations, you may need to charge more for shipping to or delivery to uh, someone in a different state. Uh, you also might have heavy items that you need to charge extra for delivery for. There are so many variables with delivery, it's very difficult to just offer one flat fee. Uh, and that's pretty much the only uh, option you have with WooCommerce without this plugin. But with this plugin, you can achieve pretty complex rules. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use them. Uh, so we have to go to WooCommerce and then go to Settings. Okay, now we're using the latest version of WooCommerce right now is 2.64 and Table Rate Shipping 3.0.1. Okay, so we go back to WooCommerce Settings and we click the Shipping tab at the top and we need to create the zones. Now a shipping zone is an area that you want to create rules for. So uh, being in Australia, I'm going to set up a rule for New South Wales and Victoria. Okay, so I'm going to click on Add Shipping Zone. I'm just going to call it NSW for New South Wales. Choose the region, so I'm going to type Australia and choose New South Wales. Uh, and then I'm going to add the zone. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, add Victoria. So I'm going to add Victoria. I'll just put Vic and go Australia again and put Victoria and I'm going to save changes. Now that's going to create those two shipping zones uh, and as you saw before in here uh, you can actually limit the rules to specific postcodes which are, or zip codes so I'll show you how to do that after. Um, so now we've created the two zones okay and we need to add a method so we'll create we'll hit the plus sign and we need to choose how we want it to work so let's just say in New South Wales you wanted a uh, flat rate flat rate is basically everyone gets the same delivery cost but we don't want that we want to use table rates and table rates will allow you to specify a lot of different rules based on a lot of different uh, criteria okay so we'll click on add shipping method method now and we will then click on table rate which is there okay uh, we'll, we'll change the name of it to delivery because this does come up on the checkout so once we ch we've changed that to delivery and we want to set up a few rules so we'll click on add shipping rate okay and the condition so let's just say we want anyone who purchases a product between zero dollars oh, we'll just make NA because that's pretty much zero uh, NA and one hundred and fifty dollars to pay only ten dollars delivery okay and then we'll add another one we'll say the pro if someone orders between a hundred and fifty dollars and one cent now you, you want to make sure it's only one cent because if someone orders something that's like a hundred and fifty dollars and 50 cents and you do it between 150, uh, 151 and 300 for example anything between 150 and 151 it won't even have a rule for that and the customer won't even be able to check out so you just got to watch for that so make it 150 and one cent to 300 dollars and we'll make the cost of that 20 dollars okay and we'll just hit save changes so basically right now what's happening is uh, when a customer checks out on your website, the system will check the criteria or the rules that have been set and spit out a price for delivery uh, according to those rules and uh, the location of the customer. So I'm going to now go to this website and I'm going to order a couple of products. So I'm just going to add this one couple of times and uh, add this one a couple of times and I'm going to go view my cart and now you can see that we've got $513 which is actually over the 300 so I need to add another shipping rate we'll do between 300 and one cent to 750 bucks and we'll save it 
okay? And we'll make that so it's free delivery, okay? So we'll, we'll just leave this as zero and we'll type free delivery and we'll just put this uh, regular post because these are labels that come up when someone um, matches that rule and we'll just hit save changes, okay? So now if I go to proceed to checkout, I'll type in some details. Sydney, New South Wales, 2202, for example. You'll notice that it automatically calculates free delivery, okay? Now, if I take out some, um, if I take out some products from there, so we'll go back to the cart, okay? And I'll take out the $393 order and I'll go to the checkout. And unfortunately, I need to type this information in. Oh, actually, I don't because it remembers I'm in New South Wales. You'll see now it's regular post, $10, okay? So the regular post is just that label there. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically that's that's how it works. Now it gets, it can get much more complex than that, okay? So you can set up different classes of products and I'll show you how to do that now. So shipping classes allow you to assign a class or a, I guess a category to a particular product and then you can use that class or that category to create rules for your delivery. Uh, now to explain, to show you a bit better and show you in action, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two different classes, okay? Let's just say we'll create uh, a shipping class called small plants, okay? And we'll call, do one called large plants, okay? Oops, we'll just cancel that one. And we'll save the classes. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our products and we'll assign the products those classes. So let's just say test product three will be uh, a large plant and we'll update that. And then I'll go back and I'll go to test product two and I'll make that a small plant, test product two. And if we go back to test product three, I, no, I just noticed that there's no price associated with this. So I'm just going to put a price on that product. Uh, and then if we get it, just the test product, we'll put a shipping class as small plants as well. Okay. So now we have all of our products in the shopping cart with their own class. And we want to assign rules based on those classes. So we're going to go back to this, uh, the same table rates that we did before and I'm going to make it so that if the plant is assigned to the large plants shipping class then if the price is between nothing and a thousand dollars it's going to be free delivery free express delivery okay and then if a plant is part of the small plants class and the order is between uh, 50 and 100, then we want delivery to be $5, okay? So what happens is if a customer now goes on to here and tries to order a product uh, which is part of the large plants shipping class, uh, and it's and the order is up to a thousand dollars, then they'll get free express delivery. Um, but if in that particular order they also order a small plant, which is part of the small plants class, uh, you need to basically prioritize the classes or sorry the rules to tell the website which rule to run uh, first and which one will apply to that order. So right now, if I order a, I'm going to go back to my cart and I'm going to remove what I have in there. Okay. And I'm going to go back to the shop and I'm going to order a couple of products. Now, just for my, just to remember what classes I assign these products, uh, 
let's have a look. So we'll go test product is a, I believe, from what I remember, a small plant. Yeah. So if we go test product, we'll add uh, one of them. Okay. And if we actually view the cart and uh, go to the check the cart, uh, sorry, the checkout, you'll notice that you have two options available for delivery. You have regular and regular regular post and regular delivery. That's because the any class rules and the small plants rule are both applying at the same time. So to stop that from happening, firstly, you need to create a break. Now, a break basically tells the system when it's looking for a rule uh, to find the rule. And then if break is associated, it says, don't look for any more rules. Just use that rule. So what we want to do is we want it to actually break when it finds this rule. Okay. Now, this is a small plants rule based on this small plants shipping class. And I'm going to drag that to the top as well, just to give it a bit priority. Well, give it the priority that it needs to, to run first. Okay. And then if I actually refresh this now, the cart, you'll notice that I probably need to save it first. <laughs> and if we refresh the cart now, you'll notice that that regular delivery, the $5 one applied and the other rule did not come up because of that break checkbox. So I'll just untick it and save it again and refresh it. And you'll notice that it's come back. So we've got to make sure that break is there. Okay. Now I'm going to order a large plant with a small plant and see what happens there. So the large plant, I believe, is this product, which I'll just triple check to make sure. Yes, so that product is classified as a large plant in our shipping classes. So we'll add that to the cart and we'll view the cart now. And what you'll notice now is we have two products, one which is small and one which is large. And, uh, in shipping classes and the regular post is $20. So if we go back to the rules and have a look at it, you'll notice that this rule has applied. The small plants rule hasn't applied. And the reason for that is because of class priorities. Basically, you need to tell the system which class you want to run first. So right now, large plants and small plants both have the same priority. Uh, you need to give small plants the higher priority in order to run first. So what we'll do to run a class uh, first, you need to give it a lower number. So let's just give that a, a small plan to number five. And I can order, also notice that the rule up here is 50 to to $100, which will mean that it can't run this rule because this order is over $100, which will, it will automatically go to the large plants rule. So let's just extend that to $500. And if we hit save, you'll notice that if we refresh the cart, it will actually change the shipping to $5. So this order is $261. It's got two different sh uh, products with two different shipping classes associated with them. The website has gone through the rules and based on the settings that we've done, it's, it's associated this uh, cart with $5 delivery. Because small plants is a higher priority and this rule is also breaking, uh, you won't see the other rule. So as you can see, it does get pretty complex. Um, so, but I guess with these kind of, uh, this kind of explanation, hopefully it gives you a rough idea of how this works. It can get really complex, but it's a very, very useful tool. Um, you can also, instead of just doing a fixed cost, you can do a percentage cost. So let's just say you want the order, uh, the delivery to be 20% of the actual cost of the order for delivery. The website will automatically uh, calculate that. So if we hit save changes and we go to the card again, it's actually going to calculate 20% of the total order. You can also set a price based on uh, the item cost. So basically, uh, let's just say you have two different items uh, and uh, you want to charge three, $4 delivery per item. You can do it like that. And if you save it now, 
you'll notice that it will refresh the the delivery to just be eight dollars because that's two products times four and last but not least you also have the ability to calculate based on weight so uh, in order for the website to know how much a product weighs you obviously need to assign a weight to that product so if we go to products now okay click on a specific product you'll notice a shipping uh, tab here and you can assign a weight to it so let's just do one kilo you can also do dimensions as well uh, we'll just update that and if we go back to the settings you can then uh, say one kilo uh, is uh, ten dollars okay so if we now save that and refresh the cart you'll notice that delivery is ten dollars now it should be more because the other product should have a weight assigned to it as well if you're going to do rules based on weight you need to ensure that every single one of your products has a weight associated with it now one, another thing I'm going to show you is the zip code slash postcodes setup so to do that if you go back to shipping and we're going to set this up for Victoria okay uh, and we go to edit we're going to click on limit to specific postcodes now I know in uh, Victoria the postcodes are 3000 so I'm going to do let's just say we want to do uh, postcode 3000 to 3050 now we don't have to do this 3001 3002 3003 stuff that too much time too much effort we just do 3000 then dot 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 so three full stops and then 3050 and that's going to tell the rules to only apply to any postcode between those numbers you can then also say all right so 3060 as well and 3061 okay and then just click save changes so now the rules are only going to apply to that then we'll create the shipping method again we'll make it table rates for example again and add the shipping method click into table rate create the method I'm just going to call it delivery or courier if you want mix it up a bit and we're going to add the shipping rates um, let's just do large plants price 0 to uh, 500 is ten dollars and small plants 0 to 500 is five dollars okay and we'll save those changes and I'll now place an order uh, to check that those rules work so I'm going to add this product to a cart to the cart go back and add another product and go to the cart and go to checkout I'll type in my details okay if I put 3070 it's actually going to say there are no shipping methods available because there is no rule that applies to that postcode but if I change it to 3050 guess what happens the rule applies so as you can see this is a very complex plugin that can help you achieve a lot of functionality on your WooCommerce site not all the plugins for WooCommerce are good this is a very good plugin that I would recommend any business owner to uh, purchase because it can just help you uh, alleviate those issues relating to delivery pricing um, so I hope this tutorial helps you and um, feel free to comment below if you have any questions or anything like that thank you